All right. Um, this piece is pretty much done. There's a couple of things I need to do, but I'm going to put this aside and I'll uh, detail it more fully once I sell a copy of it, which I don't know what the future of that is. And I just don't see me spending any more time on this other than working on the feather, which I've got right here. I scaled this feather to match the scale of the uh, human, or the uh, Native American. And so it's scaled to the right size for an eagle feather. And I did, a, I think, a, a fairly good job of it uh, years ago, just 10 years ago. Now I need to work on the uh, feather to, to improve it, and that's what I'm going to do next. Time to play with some clay. I've got some damage to the uh, quill, and I need to work on that. Uh, this side, I didn't sculpt the quill at all. I need to work on that, too. So, that's what I'm going to do today. It's probably not going to be all that exciting video, but uh, I hope you stick around. By the way, if you like my videos, even when they're boring... I really would appreciate you clicking the uh, subscribe button and uh, the bell so that you can get updates of my videos. I've uh, put this on a piece of foam so that I do less damage to the either side of it that I work on. I think it's pretty doing pretty good for a ten year old feather. <laughs> it really helps to know what an eagle feather even looks like. Or the size of it. I have a Native American friend years ago who let me take pictures of his eagle feathers. They can, they're the only ones that can own them. Uh, uh, anybody but Native Americans cannot. It's against the law. You can actually go to jail for every feather for, uh, and be fined. I think ten thousand dollars. For every feather you have. It's very. Not well looked at. If you own one. But. I can take a picture of one. And that's all I need. Is just a picture. I don't need. An actual feather. Now the dark area of the feather. I'm going to put very little uh, in the way of detail or quill detail or whatever they call these, this part of the feather. This is the other side of the feather. Now, the quill's different on the other side, or the underside of the uh, feather. And uh, a lot of the quill is missing on this one, on this side. Okay, I rolled out a piece of clay. 
to make a quill for this side. It's thicker on this side than on the other side. There's a uh, trough down the center of the uh, quill on this side. All right, now it's time to figure out where I'm going to put this feather. I kind of like it right there. It, got a, it sort of goes with the flow of the piece. And uh, I'm taking artistic license when I do this because I'm not sure how he would have wore his feather. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this wire in and down. So that I can put it into the head of the uh, warrior. This is so they can take it out and cast the feather separate. Now there is a foam skull underneath this, so I have to now I gotta figure out how to. keep it at the angle I want it at. All right, that's uh, it for now. It's a long journey for this piece from 10 years ago, 2013 when I started this piece. I am so happy with it. I won't put the quill on the wire yet. Um, I need to take this to the foundry get a bit on it and find out exactly how I can do that uh, to make it easy for them to remove the feather. And so I won't uh, do anything with that. And also I need to sculpt detail on the hair at some point in the future, but not right now. So that's uh, Henry Roman Nose, a Southern Cheyenne warrior. And it took me 10 years from start to finish. I'm proud of this piece. I really am. All right, everybody. Good night. I'll see you next time.